Hello cheap skaters. You're back in the kitchen with me for a little late night chicken processing. I've got two bulk packs, bulk packs of chicken fillets that have to go into the freezer right now today, 27th. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got two packs, two nice big heavy packs. There's nearly four kilos altogether it was 8.99 a kilo that is not a fantastic price but it is better than it has been for a long long time so i'm going to take the skin off if there's tenderloins on them i will be taking those off and then i'll just be packaging it for the freezer so let me tip you down and we'll get started I don't waste any time. Okay, here we go. I washed my hands. I have a nice sharp knife. I have clean breadboard. And I have bags for the vacuum sealer because I will be vacuum sealing this chicken. I had thought that I would. Probably, maybe, perhaps, um, can it turn it into ugly chicken? But seriously, I'm tired. It's been a busy day. I did a lot of videoing this morning. That will be coming out later. So keep an eye out on those. I gave myself a couple of challenges. So... I'm ready to just go to bed. The noise in the background is the dishwasher. Yes, I'm running it at night. I know I should run it during the day. But seriously, I need to start tomorrow with a clean, clean kitchen and a clean dishwasher. So that is running. Right, these chickens, these fillets, they're big and they don't have tenderloins on them. I always feel a bit ripped off when I don't get the tenderloin. I like the tenderloins. I keep them and I use them for um, wraps and things like that. There's the fat. I'll get rid of it. They, these are monster chicken fillets. Look, they're bigger than my hand. They're huge. So there's only four in that packet and it was over a kilo and a half. So... Maybe that's why they were on sale because they're so big. Yeah. It's easy to skin. And I don't pay extra to buy skin off because it is easy to skin. I'm just going to pull. There we go. Put that little bit there. Um, these I think I think I might dice half and slice half. If that makes sense, I'll just pop them in whole so that we can have some for schnitzels and some for casseroles, or apricot chicken, or enchiladas, or whatever, skewers, whatever. Because I'm starting to think of, I know it's, you know, we're only halfway through winter, but I'm starting to think of summer already and what we'll be eating over summer what will be available and what we'll be able to afford to eat um, that would make a big difference to to my planning uh, because I'm already working on next year's meal plan so I get it started a bit earlier this year so that I've got it under control all right let me get rid of this. It's revolting. Right. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Four of them I will dice. Four of them I will slice into schnitzels. So... Here we go. All I do is cut it. 
actually cut it. It's easy enough to do. And away we go. Hannah's just walked in. Hello, Possum. Hello. Lacey being fed? Uh, yes, AJ fed her. She's sniffing around for She's chicken. She's just lying at my feet waiting for chicken. <laughs> no She's chicken. not going to get any. Sharp knife makes it so much easier. Now I'm just going to go hunk. Um, bit of a tip when you're dicing chicken, smaller dice. You use the same amount of meat, it just looks small. So for people that are visually satisfied, they think they're being starved if they don't have a lot of pieces on their plate. They might have the same amount, just bigger chunks. Small pieces and more of them, they are happy. So, and the smaller pieces are easier if you want to put them in enchiladas or burritos or anything like that. Okay. We took out a finger. Don't take out a finger. The crunching you can hear is Lacey getting a treat for after dinner. Dessert. Oh, dessert, yeah, Hannah said it's her dessert. I suppose it is. Alright. And do all the chopping and cutting and slicing and then we'll bag it and then we'll seal it. Just get one mess over and done with. So diced chicken I use in apricot chicken. I use in chicken casserole, which isn't really a casserole, though I suppose it is better in the slow cooker. Um, and in enchiladas, because we just love enchiladas. I like enchiladas because they're a great make-ahead meal. You can do a whole big tray of them, buying them in the freezer, I have them ready to go, just heat and eat. And I love it. Take them out in the morning, let them thaw, put them in the oven, let them heat, and dinner is done. And if you're making them, because they're a bit messy and a bit fiddly to make, that's where double up cooking is ideal for enchiladas. Um, is four all chopped up. Now let me see what I will do with these. Move that out of the way. Pile of chicken. I don't want to get on the board out. It's late. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. I don't want to be spending half an hour cleaning up when I'm finished so the less dishes I use the happier I am going to be two, three, four. Huh. all right we are one two three four. this one can be diced too I miscounted or did I skip one let me know if you noticed in the comments below I know um, Joy got chicken a couple of weeks ago for $7.99 a kilo. Oh, I actually contemplated, seriously contemplated. I worked out, I did the calculations, and time and fuel for me to go and buy some too from her supplier. It's the other side of the city to me. So it's a good hour, an hour and a half with roadworks now, drive, plus the fuel. So I would have had to have bought a lot. 
I don't mind buying chicken. I can buy 20, 30, 40 kilos at a time and get it all in the freezer or the canner and onto the shelves. And it works real well for me. Now I'm happy to freeze this because there is no chicken in the freezer anymore. It is all done. Right, okay, that's done. Um, no chicken in the freezer anymore. It is, chop that off. And a little bit. And there's gristly bits that are a bit nasty, aren't they? Um, so I need to freeze, uh, get some in the freezer. And I know I'm moving towards more canned, home canned things. But, 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 every now and then, you need fresh chicken. All right, I'm just going to slice these in half. Sort of, I sort of wish they were a bit frozen. So it'd be a darn sight easier to cut, even with my nice sharp knife. perfect schnitzels but you know what who cares we eat them they all go down the same way chop that off too deal with that in a minute so and once they're crumbed we're covered in our moo kfc mix which is just divine and better than the <laughs> better than what you buy well, I think it is anyway. Um, nobody knows. Nobody really cares. So all we're really interested in is um, flavour. Help me. Flavour, texture, getting it right. Okay. All right. This one, last one. Here we go. I would be thrilled to get these into the freezer now how are you coping with me doing the real-time videos I'm doing them for a couple of reasons first of all I really hate editing which is why I love doing our Tuesday night lives no editing whatever happens happens that's real life I like to do these in real time so that you can see exactly how long it takes me to do the things I do because I keep saying to people but it doesn't take long it doesn't take long and because oh, I work I've got children I've got you know carbuncles whatever lots of excuses but it does not take long so if I can show you in real time exactly how long it takes to do what I do the way I do it it's going to be better, isn't it? Now I'm going to leave you looking at all this lovely chicken just for a moment while I go wash my hands because I need to write on the bags. Okay, hands washed and dried let me move this to the side and we've got two lots of schnitzels here's my handy dandy sharpie now my hands and i can't get the sharpie open oh no oh, what did i do to it there it is See, real time, real life happenings. It is July. Let's see. Okay. Um, four by schnitzels. Couldn't spell schnitzels then. And it is the 27th, the 7th, 
23. Um, two of those. Um, four by Schmidt. Yes. 27, 7, 23. And I will write on the other side. Four by Schnitzels. Let's label both sides. Easier when they're stacked in the freezer. And I do date them always just so I know how long something's been in the freezer. Because nobody really wants to take the risk of eating old food. Not if there's anything wrong with it. If it's frozen, it's going to stay good and it will stay frozen. It will lose quality. It won't lose the safety factor. 27, 7, 23. Okay. And I am thinking I will get scales out and measure that chicken into 500 grams. Here we go. about that Oops. all right this is let me shut my cupboard let me wipe out my um, tray just so i know it's not dusty and we will start with diced chicken and see how many I need. Um, nice chicken. 527, 7, 23. Okay. I think I need four, but we'll wait and see. Okay. Schnitzel is going to be bag. A bit of a flat over when you're working with something like this it's going to make the seal area moist when I go to put it in the vacuum sealer where it sealed isn't wet there's no food on it it's not damp so it will seal properly there's nothing worse than not getting a, a good seal it's a pain in canning and it's a pain in back sealing okay Three handfuls. Three hands full, handfuls. Hands full or handfuls? Which one is correct? Mm. 
one, two, three. I do weigh out our mint for our meals. When I'm bagging up mints, I weigh out the mints. When I'm bagging up sausages, I count out the number of sausages. This one might not be quite. Oh, yes. Here we go. 500. Oh, well done, Kath. Perfect judge. Got three bags of dice. Okay. Not the cheapest of meals, but certainly convenient. Let me get rid of these and this earthy tray and I'll be right back. Okay. Don't need that anymore. Okay. Now I've got puppy at my feet. <laughs> puppy at my feet. Alright, vacuum seal on. I will um, turn the sound off while I'm doing this for you because you don't really need to hear all the um, noise that goes with the sucking. Okay, here we go. And I will be as quick as I can. I'm just waiting for the first one to actually seal. There it is. Done. Okay, can you see how nice? Can you see that seal? Perfect. All right, let's get the ovens done. And then we can go in the freezer and I can go to bed. Which I'm using again. doesn't really take long I think I've been not even half an hour so real time it will probably be about 30 minutes by the time I'm cleaned up so that's not too bad is it I do love my vacuum sealer. This is Food Saver. Hannah has the one that I had before this. She uses it all the time. I use my Food Saver all the time. This is number three for me. The first one I wore out completely. Um, the second one, um, when this newer model came out, I gave the second one to Hannah. And um, this became my new kitchen one. All right, we've got four down, one to go. Just waiting, waiting, waiting. Last one. I didn't write on the back. 
back of the diced chicken. So here we go, diced chicken. It's 500 grams, 27th, the 7th, 23. Um, and diced chicken. 100 grams, 27th of the 7th, 23. My Sharpies. Sharpie's running out. Don't run out, little Sharpie. Okay, diced chicken. 500 grams, 27th of the 7th, 23. Okay, there we have it. Oh my gosh, one, two, three packs of diced chicken, two packs of schnitzels, that's five meals of chicken, prepped and in the freezer, easy peasy, ready to go, just thaw and use. And as soon as I need it, I can take it out of the freezer and put it in the fridge and it will be ready for me too use when I want to do schnitzels or palmers. They could even become tender strips, whatever. It will be done. So I'm going to run this out to the outside freezer, wash up the boards, put away the vacuum sealer, and I'm going to go to bed because it is late and I am tired. I've had a busy day. Thank you so much for watching. If you've stuck with me this far, I really, really appreciate it. And I would love if you could give us a thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, welcome. I should have said that in the beginning. And if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. It helps us. It helps YouTube help us. It's, it's, and it helps you because you are notified then every time we upload a video or go live. So three things you can do. Like, subscribe and share. There's a share button if you know someone who might like to see how I process five meals worth of chicken in half an hour. Um, hit the share button. It sends them a link. We don't harass them. They don't hear from us at all. And it's up to them if they want to watch the video. If they want to know something else about the Cheapskates Club, the links are all underneath me there. If you want to know something else about Cheapskates Club, the links are underneath me there as well as a link to um, Cheapskates Chatter, which is our Facebook group, and to sign up for our weekly newsletter, which is absolutely free. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm a bit tired. I'll see you again soon with another Cheapskates video to show you, to save you money, time, and energy as you live life debt-free, cashed up, and laughing. See you soon, everybody.